and I'm working at the University of Cambridge, although my work involves a number of centres, both regionally in East Anglia and actually across the UK. Our paediatric adolescent structured education program, which is known as FACTS, Families, Adolescents and um, Communication and Teamwork Study, follows on from a previous Diabetes UK grant, which was really to develop a curriculum for structured education in children and adolescents. And in that pilot study, we were able to show that children and parents who came along to four sessions as part of the normal clinical care were able to get better blood sugar control and have less conflict at home, so less arguments and less tension around diabetes management. And based on the positive results from the pilot study, we were then able to apply for and to get a grant to do a larger randomised study across the UK. So that study has now recruited 300 adolescents between the ages of 11 and 16 mm -hmm. and delivered six months of structured education to them across 10 UK sites. And in fact, the de programme delivery in the final site is due to finish just within the next few weeks. It's progressing very well and we hope to have some of the quality of life outcomes really within the next six months and we should know whether the programme has been effective make a quite an important difference for families, both for the young people themselves and for the parents. The real issues parents have is, man is letting, control, letting go of the control over adolescents living with diabetes and that can be a major cause of concern and we hope that this programme, which is really the only programme focusing around fam on family communication, will help parents to be prepared for adolescents better and also of course help the young people to manage with that transition between having the parent looking after the diabetes to having the young person look after it. So we hope that we'll have young people who are better able to communicate with their parents and with health professionals and also that they're better able to look after the diabetes for the future. I'd like to say thank you very much to the supporters of Diabetes UK. Um, without the money, these sorts of studies wouldn't be undertaken and we wouldn't have this opportunity to try and improve the lives of young people living with diabetes.